and welcome back to our Tuscan urban farmstead just showing you the latest work on the violin case so here I've been gluing a lot of stuff on and it's like really freshly glued on so I still have to keep coming back and tapping it back down make sure you when you do this like don't do what I do and don't do what I say do what I say and don't do what I do um, you want to make sure that your fingers are are wet enough or the or at least the glue that you're dealing with is wet enough so that it won't stick to your finger otherwise otherwise you take the the brush if it's too wet it's going to probably just mess things up for you even more although here it's clearly missing glue underneath so there you go and then once the once the brush is more dried off you can also like just do that then you can go back and press like gently dab it back down until it will stick so this is something when you're doing this kind of work with really thick paper like this for example you want to be keeping an eye on it. You see here it's kind of lifted up. So that's the air got underneath. So you want to keep a close eye on it and keep coming back and keep putting, applying some more pressure and getting that air out. The cool part is that with this thicker paper that I'm working with, this wallpaper, it's harder it's more likely to to open on the sides rather than trap the air in the middle like it does with the with the more lightweight paper right so you just keep coming back and you keep dabbing it down and you keep making sure you get all those little t tidbit pieces back in place so there you go in two days, I got my appointment at the thrift store to be dropping off some articles. And no, this will not be one of them. This is probably going to go on one of my... This is going to go up for sale. Because this one really is just like a work of art. I just put so much effort into it. And I'm so tempted to keep it. <laughs> it's, not like it it's not like it's something that I would ever use but you know just enjoy the work of your hands of your own hands to be able to enjoy the work of your own hands that really is a blessing and there's the chair and I still have to get back to that and yeah I haven't been able to keep up with almost anything recently I've been very much in bed again plus dealing with a lot of really toxic negative people so I'm just gonna tell you how to you see when you're dealing with narcissists especially online but in in your day-to-day -day life when you are dealing with narcissists it really is on you to realize what is going on to connect the dots as quickly as possible and then to decide how important it is for you to keep that person in your life or not and also to decide how you will interact with that person and I might be wrong about this there are some people where it's really just not worth it to be it's not worth it to disappear completely because they will take revenge on you disappearing completely so you have to really calculate that or or else how will you show up when you are around those people now, I love that on 
social media, it's probably, especially with you when you're dealing with people around the world, it's probably easier to just like connect the dots and get out of there. So, there we go again. This thing doesn't want me to be... Right. So, practically what happened today? I've practically been, I've, I've pretty much been absent from social media for quite a long time now. I've handed over the reins to my various groups to someone else because I really cannot uh, be following up on everyone and everything right now. And the cool, the, the thing is, you know, the devil never sleeps. The devil is always out there looking for people he can harm or can silence or whatever. You want to beware so much of people who set themselves up as leaders. Now, they might not be setting... You will always recognize when they're setting themselves up as leaders. Number one, they just cannot stand anyone saying anything different than what they say. And they always feign humil humility. They're always f feigning humility. Um, no, I can't get into this right now. I can't start talking right now. I just wanted to make a quick video of how this violin case is coming along. And, yeah. I'll make a video on these topics another time, so ciao for now.